In 2019, the Erie Seawolves were lighting up radar guns with what became to be known as the best pitching staff in the minor leagues. The names in the starting rotation sound familiar. Casey Mize, Tarek Skubal, Matt Manning, and another you might have forgotten about, Joey Wentz. Yes, at the time, Wentz was a top 10 Tigers prospect as well. However, he's dropped a few spots since, but not because he can't deal. His road to Detroit was sidetracked in 2020 due to an all too common cause. Tommy John's surgery. More upset and just angry when I found out, but that has to switch pretty quickly to, to get better, and who you surround yourself with was a pretty big thing with me, and you know, my friends and family supported me, and obviously kind of the staff with, with the Tigers in Florida. I try not to really doubt myself through the rehab, because you know, you go down that rabbit hole, you can get kind of a, a deep, dark place. Knowing it still wouldn't be all sunshine and rainbows, Wentz put his head down and focused on the grind. If you waste a lot of days, it turns into wasting a week or wasting two weeks, which on the back half can get, you know, make it that much longer. Even with that attitude, it took over a year to see the mound in a game again. And being out of action for that long, not surprisingly, took a toll. It's a cycle of you kind of, you feel weird in different places where maybe you've never got sore, but um, a lot of that is just getting back out there. You know, you miss 14 months. It takes the body a little bit to get back in the swing of like, this is what it feels like to be out in a real game, not just a bullpen or a, a BP or, you know, on the backfield. But in terms of getting out there, once I was facing hitters, I, I wanted to, you know, let it loose. And in my opinion, that was the best way for me to do it. Results have varied, but the 6'5", 220-pounder seems to be ascending back to where he used to be, slowly but surely. Last six starts at AA Erie, the Kansas native has posted an ERA of 333. In the end, though, Seawolves manager Arnie Baylor just wants his starter to keep towing the rubber. Wind strikes out the side in the third. The outside world doesn't understand that this guy, this year really doesn't matter. The thing for him is to be consistent, to get his innings in, and to get through this season without issues. There's a lot of new things there that you've got to work through, then you don't know. I mean, guys, when they go through that surgery, they don't know how their arm's going to react. They don't know if the velocity's going to come back. They don't know if they're ever going to spin a ball again. So another guy that every time he goes out there, even though a lot of times he don't think so because he's really hard on himself, uh, it's progress. He's far, be far beyond what I'm sure expectations are of him. And um, I'm just very excited to see how the season ends up for him because he's he's trending very well right now, very highly. And um, you know, Velo's going up. He's getting more command of his pitches, and um, he's going to be he's going to be a very good pitcher. Got him a swinging strike three. Hopefully, one that can join his former Erie teammates from two years ago in the show sometime down the road. It's definitely cool to watch them. You know, all three of those guys are playing well, and there's certainly a you know, there's a, everyone on the team seems to be playing well and yeah it's definitely something that not just me or I think anyone here wants to be a part of it and certainly I think I have the chance but like two years ago in my eyes it's kind of two years ago it's certainly not that far you know it's not that distant but in other regards it's, it's certainly not close either the depths that you can go you know go down and and Tommy John or something like that can can benefit you in the future and I I try to keep an attitude of like I'm very fortunate in my life. You know, you just keep your head down and keep going. And uh, I believe that, you know, if you, if you can do that for me or for anyone, it, it's always going to get better. Swing and a miss, climb the ladder with a fastball, second strike out of the frame. You know, definitely a guy that when he goes out there, it's fun to watch because you never know what's going to happen. And he can make hitters look pretty bad with the stuff that he has.